tonight marks the beginning of a very special week here at KSBW. It's our annual event paying tribute to the Central Coast Jefferson Award honorees. And this year's ceremony is taking place right now at the National Steinbeck Center in Salinas. And that's where Action News reporter Lauren Siever is with more on tonight's event. Big event. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Erin. You know, KSBW, along with our partners, Union Bank, are celebrating six Jefferson Award honorees tonight. And these people are being honored for their dedication and commitment to their communities. And I want to tell you who they are. So this is Cheryl Getz of Big Sur, Scott Caldwell of Felton, Moss Hashimoto of Watsonville, Ray Nahar of Greenfield, Caroline Nietz Wah, also of Big Sur, and Nancy Fountain from America's last hometown, Pacific Grove. Now here to tell us more about the Jefferson Awards is KSBW President General Manager Joseph W. Heston. And Joe, please tell us um, what's the importance behind the Jefferson Awards. Jefferson Awards, Lauren, first of all, thank you for being here and thank you to all of our audience for watching and being supportive. This is our 20th class of 20th year for the Jefferson Awards here on our Central Coast. And it's the it's an award that goes to people that would not otherwise be recognized. These are not people that look for uh, the exposure, that don't, they're not out in, you know, big leadership positions. They're leading as servant. They're servant leaders. They're out doing what needs to be done. And it, it just so warms your heart every year that we thought, have the this, opportunity this is exactly to salute them to and really put a spotlight on them. Not so much about them totally as much as to inspire, focused, hopefully, um, uh, the that. Central Coast to, to go out Together, and do what they, they can do. Now, their stories are spectacular. Not everybody can do what these great honorees are do in each of their in each of their communities, but we can all do a little, and that's what we hope that the Jefferson Awards inspire every year. Now, so many people do amazing things for our community on a regular basis. How did these six people get chosen? Well, nominations come in, and then we have a uh, blue ribbon panel that meets, and they go through all the nominating material, and we vet them, and um, it's an amazing process each year. And we encourage next year for people to nominate. Again, if you know of somebody, and they always, there are always these people that go like, oh, no, 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 not me. That's a good Jefferson Award opportunity. If they're like, no, I'm too busy, or it's, yeah. So we, we go through that, and, and we, again, our 20th year of six honorees, so it's Terrific. One of one of our honorees will be announced tonight going to Washington, D.C. as the national representative of our Central Coast, joining about 80 other um, nominees from across the country, and five will get a national Jefferson Award. And our Central Coast has had three of those over these 19 years. So. Amazing. Truly really incredible people that we have on our Central Coast and doing amazing things for our community. And the stories will be next week. You're going to say that part, or Aaron, or Aaron will. Yes, so I'm actually headed that way right now. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. And so all of their stories, all of these six people's stories will be on Action News 8 at 6 and on Action News Sunrise all week long. So tune in. Reporting live in Salinas, I'm Lauren Siever, KSVW, Action News 8. Back to you.